When Abraham Lincoln's parents moved to Illinois from Kentucky, they lived in Macon County for a year and then moved to Coles County in 1831, where they lived the rest of their lives. In an empty field next to the Coles County Fairground in Charleston is a marker showing us exactly where the Lincoln-Douglas debate happened back in 1858. And about 200 steps behind us is the museum commemorating the event. In the fall of 1858, Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas engaged in a series of debates around the state during their fierce battle for a U.S. Senate seat. Between 10 and 15,000 people witnessed the three-hour debate on this site. Well, the other way is for us to surrender and let Judge Douglas and his friends plant slavery in all the states. And the hotly contested slavery issue combined with the end of the harvest season made it a unique event. There was cannon booming everywhere, uh, bands, banners, uh, there were parades, so there was a big time to rejoice and celebrate. The museum is not only a tribute to Lincoln the lawyer and politician, but Lincoln the person. We can also see him as Lincoln the friend because he had many friends here and would come back and he was a very um, fun guy to be around from what we've read. He was also Lincoln the family man because he was very close to both his father and his stepmother. Thomas and Mary Bush Lincoln lived eight miles from the debate site on this farm. The site is now a museum with a replica of the Lincoln home and a working farm. So if people want to experience what Lincoln experienced, this is the place to come. Yes, it, very definitely so. Uh, Abraham didn't actually live here. Uh, he was already an attorney in Springfield by the time the family moved here. But he did visit twice a year. Just down Lincoln Highway Road is a replica of the Moore home. Lincoln's stepsister, Matilda Hall Moore, lived on the site and welcomed the president-elect just before his inauguration. He stopped up in Charleston, got off the railroad up there, and took a buggy down here to this home where he met his stepmother, uh, Mary. And um, they had a meal here and a little gathering of family and friends before he went off to Washington. According to some historians, when Lincoln said goodbye to his stepmother in January of 1861, she told him she didn't think she would ever see him again because someone would kill him. Well, she was right. He was assassinated four years later on April 14, 1865 in Washington, D.C.